Today I want to do a quick review of WP Time Capsule, which is a new WordPress backup service that is being officially released by the developers of Infinite WP. What's really cool at the moment is that in their launch offer they are offering lifetime licenses. So let's have a quick glance at the, the pricing page. So until the 31st of March 2017, you can grab a five site lifetime license for 197, 50 sites for 397, or unlimited sites for 597 for life. So it's a pretty compelling offer for those of us that have a lot of websites that we want to, to back up. So now I already have Backup Buddy, uh, 50 site license, uh, Updraft Plus. I do backups through main WP control panel. So I've already got a lot of backup solutions, but I'm quite interested in WP Time Capsule for a couple of reasons. First of all, the lifetime offer looks fantastic, but also because it's an incremental backup service, which means that when you do your first backup through uh, WP Time Capsule, it backs up the entire site, so the backup takes a long time. It also doesn't compress the backup data from my understanding, so it copies the files exactly as they are uh, from your site to wherever your backup location is, and that's good because although it, it actually ends up transferring a lot more data because it's not compressed it's not placing any significant cpu load on the server while it's doing it so it does the first backup of the entire site and then every day it doesn't from that point onwards it does an incremental backup copying only the changes in the files that happen in that 24-hour period and then storing those separately as well as a copy, a new copy of the database. So what that means is that over time you get a history of incremental points where you can roll back to at any time up to 30 days. So you could say, I screwed up the site seven days ago and didn't notice, I can roll back to that, click a button, it will restore the site exactly back to where it was seven days ago. Or you could do it to, the, to yesterday, for example. So anyway, let's jump in and actually install it on a site and see how this goes. So what I've done is I have set up a uh, I'm using a domain of mine and I've set up a temporary website just to uh, act as a starting point and we're going to back this up and then every day for the next few days I'm going to make changes to the site so that those get picked up in the backup and then I can come back and do the second part of the video where I can actually restore sites to different staging points and see how it goes. So let's jump in to the dashboard. This is where we, once we've signed up, where we can add a new site. Now I think this is quite clever, you click on install now, it actually redirects you to your site, asks you to log in, and will immediately take you to the plugin install. Well, normally it does. Here we go. And so we click install now. Activate. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we can go down to WP Time Capsule and it's going to ask us to log in. Okay, so I've logged into the site now. And uh, it's uh, come up with the dashboard, which is very sparse at this stage. I don't know if we're going to get some more options or features in here. And I find it just a little bit clunky. So we can see that we've actually, we're actually on the, uh, the Lifetime 5 Sites license. Well, I test this, but I'm pretty sure already that I'm going up to the Unlimited Sites license. And then we select our cloud storage app. So we've got the options of Dropbox, Google Drive, and, and Amazon S3. Let's just for an example use Google Drive. And then we select the, the backup type. At the moment, moment, the only option is daily, but the fact that it's there suggests that they might be allowing you know, multiple incremental backups. And then we set the, uh, the, the, the time. Uh, that we're going to do it. So we can also choose what specific folders and tables that we want to to import. So we'll just leave that alone and click save and continue. Okay, and so now it's going to start the first backup. Depending on the size of the site, this can take a long time, but uh, this is a, a very small site, brand new install, so it should only take a few minutes. Okay, so it's about 20 minutes later, and as you can see, I wasn't right. Even a small website, this one is only about 72 megabytes, is going to take quite a bit of time to back up for the first time. Obviously, that may vary depending on the destination, if Amazon S3 or Dropbox may, may well be faster, or you may get a better result. Either way, it's taking some time. 
So while it's doing that, let's have a quick look at the settings and what else is here. So if we jump into the settings, we can see it's got the uh, the plan and we can choose to upgrade it if we want to. It tells us where it's storing the, the data and we can set default settings for things like the backup schedule and time zone and whether we have uh, WP Time Capsule do backups before manual updates or do backups before auto updates because I believe that's one of the features it's got as well is that you can specify plugins that it should just auto update. And we can also specify by default what folders and database tables to include or exclude. That's about it. Uh, as you can see here, we can't make any changes while the backup is running. Let's jump into the activity log. This gives us a list of the various logs. So you can see that we uh, when we first installed WP Time Capsule, and here is the backup and process. Gives us the, uh, the, the details there, along with details of, of any backups and restores that we have done. So the staging area, this is a feature that I'm really looking forward to exploring further. Now again, we can't do this at the moment because there's a backup in progress. And once it's done, I'll actually demonstrate staging aside. That's about all we can do at the moment until the backup finishes. So again, I will pause it here and come back once it's finished. Okay, the first initial backup is done at last. And if we look in the activity log, we'll see that there's actually two backups here. So the first one is the initial backup, which took around 73 minutes for a 78, web, uh, 78 megabyte website. So it did actually take a while. And then what I thought was very clever is the moment that the first large backup finished, it immediately started an automatic incremental backup to capture any changes that were made since the first backup started, which is quite clever for websites which are very large, you know, a gigabyte in size, by the time the initial backup is done, you can almost guarantee that there's been a bunch of files changed somewhere. So to have it do the incremental backup immediately is a great idea. In our WP Time Capsule dashboard, we can see that it records the, the, the current backup time and when the last backup time was. So what I'm going to do now is actually change the backup time to 1 a.m., which is in about half an hour UTC time, and then we'll go to the website and actually make some changes so that the next backup occurs, captures the, the changes in the, uh, the website that we can have a look at and practice doing a restore point. Uh, but tomorrow, so let's do that. So if we go into the settings and we're going to change this to 1 a.m. Done. Now let's go to the test website and we're going to customize it a little bit. Wow, that's bright. So we'll uh, Change the background color, we'll move a couple things around, and then we'll install a plugin or two just to ensure that it's picked up in the backup. I'm using Beaver Builder, by the way, if anyone's uh, interested. Fantastic uh, page builder plugin. Oops. Let's try moving this one down. That's better. And we'll move the order of these around. I think that's good enough. So we're going to save that. And let's install a couple plugins. <clears throat> Let's go for, sure, install theme check, why not? And we'll activate this one. Okay, great, so we have changed the site. Let's have a, have a look at it. 
different color, different layout. Let's leave this here and in about 25 minutes it should be backed up in the, the next daily backup. So in the meantime, let's go back to the dashboard and have a look at the staging. So this is one of the other key features that I'm really interested in WP Time Capture for. So effectively it allows us to take whatever website we're working and very quickly spin up a staging website, a complete clone of the production website where we can make changes, test new features and functionality without disrupting the live production website. So we've got two options here, we can stage on the same server which we're going to do or stage on a different server which I assume, have an extra try this, yes it's going to ask for FTP details but let's, uh, let's go back, no back button, the interface is still a little clunky. We'll go back to staging and let's just hit the stage now button and we give it a subfolder name and there we go. So that's going to take a few minutes, we'll leave that to it and I'll come back. Okay, so I assume this would actually take a good few minutes, but it's only been a minute later and it's, it looks like it's almost completely done. There you go, it's done. So now if we click on this link, that, that was like 60 seconds at most. And we've got a complete copy of the website at howtochangeyourlife.com slash staging. So that, that's pretty impressive. Let's try logging into that. And now we can modify the staging website and make whatever changes we like without affecting the production website. So that is pretty awesome. So if we check the production website, there you go. And if we jump back into the production website, we can see we've got a button that will then copy the site from live to stage. So if we do that, we can overwrite it. Let's see how long that takes. Now, I haven't seen a button that allows us to clone any changes back from staging to production. Maybe that's a feature that's coming up in, in future. It's something that would also always have to be carefully done to not overwrite new content on the production site. So there we go. Now if we go back to the staging site where we made the change to the background color, it should be back to orange. Fantastic. So that is WP Time Capsule in a nutshell. Just uh, one more thing to touch on. When, as the backups happen, I believe we get a 30 day series of backups. If we want to restore to any point, we can just click the date that we want to do. And we can even select the items, the, just the database or individual files or the whole lot and click restore to restore it back to that point. So I think it's a very powerful system, particularly because it does incremental changes. So restoring is going to be very quick and the ability to restore just the database or just a select number of files. So we'll leave it here tomorrow. I'll come back showing us rolling back to restore points and see how that goes. Okay, welcome back. So a couple of hours have passed and I have now completed five backups in total. So I've got five restore points. And originally the idea was that I was going to wait a couple of days and do this, but then I discovered in the settings area there is on-demand backup, so we can create a new backup at any time. So I went ahead and made changes to the uh, example website four times and made a backup each time. One time I added plugins, Next, uh, the last couple of times I just made changes to the Beaver Builder page layout to make it look different, so the only thing that will be backed up is the database. And that uh, made it back up very quickly indeed when it didn't have to do files. 
So one other feature that I've discovered in the settings is the backup before auto updates. And so with this feature, we can enable auto updates for WordPress core itself and plugins and themes, which is pretty cool. It's, it's similar to what we've got available in, in things like the w, main WP control panel. So I have set it up to do minor and security version updates for WordPress core and selected various plugins that I feel comfortable with WP time capsule updating automatically because they're so solid and, and reliable in terms of upgrades and then left the rest unticked. So that's a great little system for keeping your site up to date with you know, minor releases and security updates and keeping plugins up to date that you know are rock solid in terms of not breaking. So uh, that is great. So let's jump back into backups and have a look at this. Actually, first of all, let's actually have a look at the site and see that it's changed completely again. So I've changed the layout, made this two columns and uh, made it look pretty ugly. So now we want to actually go back and restore. We click on restore points and let's restore back to, that's the one we've, we're looking at now. So let's restore to uh, backup two and we're just going to do the database, click restore. This is the first time I've done this. I don't know how long it will take. Wow, okay, that was quick. So that was the second one, then we can restore back to We'll, go to, we'll restore to this one. Okay, let's see how the site looks now. Excellent. And let's put it right back to, oh not that version, it was a bit ugly. Let's put it back to this version. Okay, let's see how it looks. Fantastic. Now this backup took a while to restore, maybe five minutes because it had to restore all the extra plugins that we had installed. So in summary, overall, I am very impressed with WP Time Capsule. It's super easy to install and set up and have it uh, back up automatically. I love the feature that you've got there to do the auto updates of WordPress core, minor versions and security updates and to select which plugins that you've got installed that you would like to be autom automatically updated. Uh, the staging service looks fantastic for creating a staging site very simply and, and quickly so that you can test changes to your website without touching the production server and i am super impressed by the restore functionality which seems to be incredibly fast if you're restoring just the database of course but even if you're restoring a, a number of files you can jump from restore point to restore point very quickly and so overall i'm super impressed i'm definitely going to be going to grab the unlimited license version for myself and i hope this video has been uh, useful for anyone else that's interested